pot legalization bills introduced in United States Congress. Washington bills that would legalize and tax Mary Jane at the national level, and provide opportunities for people convicted of federal pot crimes to clear their records, were introduced Tuesday in Congress. The companion legislation in the House and Senate were introduced by Senator Kamala Harris of California and New York Rep. Gerald Nadler, the chairman of the powerful House Judiciary Committee. Both are Democrats. Time has changed Mary Jana should not be a crime, said Harris, who is running for president. We need to start regulating Mary Jana, and it's from Mary Jana's convictions from the records of millions of Americans so they can get on with their lives. The past revenue on legalization would support job training, substance abuse treatment, literacy programs and other services for individuals and communities hit hard by drug enforcement. Some of the revenue would also support programs designed to help socially and economically disadvantaged individuals start their own Mary Jana businesses. While support for Mary Jana legalization has gained traction in Congress it's still a long shot that the bill will pass this session. Still, Nadler's introduction means the issue is very likely to get a hearing before this committee. Supporters of legalization hailed Nadler's involvement as a clear sign of momentum. Never in American history has the chairman of the judiciary introduced a bill to end federal Mary Jana criminalization, said Justin Strackle, political director of the Washington-based National Organization for the Reform of Mary Jana Law. At a time when the state is and can determine whether cannabis can ruin your life or make you a millionaire, now more than ever we must end the national prohibition of Mary Jana. Eleven states and the District of Columbia have legalized Mary Jana since 2012 for so-called recreational use by people 21 and older. Illinois joined the list last month when the state governor signed legislation removing criminal penalties and allowing for expungement of past low-level pot convictions. Legalization efforts in New York and New Jersey stalled this year despite strong support in their legislatures. Proponents believe legalization is only a matter of time in those states. Meantime, two-thirds of the states have some form of legal medical Mary Jana, which also is banned at the federal level. Opponents to national legalization warned of dangerous consequences. This is a bill to legalize the sale of addictive, high-potency Mary Jana candies, stomach, ice cream, soda, glass soup, gas, and concentrates nationwide, such as in Sabbath, a former Obama administration drug policy advisor who now has smart approaches to Mary Jenna, an anti-legalization group. Status said proposals to expunge past pot convictions are commendable but could be considered without giving the green light to the Mary Jenna industry. Meantime, the Senate Banking Committee held a hearing Tuesday to discuss banking reform efforts for the cannabis industry. A bill in Congress that the state act would allow financial institutions to work with cannabis-related businesses without threat of federal punishment. Last, thank you for watching. Please subscribe.